everyone, thank you so much for watching the Xbox Showcase. I'm Rich Lambert, the creative director on Elder Scrolls Online. And I'm CJ Grab. I'm the project art director for Elder Scrolls Online. One of the really interesting things about Elder Scrolls Online is it's different than really any other mm. game out there. It's not your typical level-gated world. Go anywhere, you can explore in any order you want to. You really can hop in at any moment, mm -hmm. play with anybody, can play any part of the game. And any story. And of course, I mean, we're on Xbox Game Pass, you know, the biggest open world RPG on Xbox. And if you're at all a fan of Elder Scrolls, you can go places that you maybe have never gone before in an Elder Scrolls game, And do right? things that you've never been able to do. There's so many different activities to participate in. You know, Housing. We've got lore hunting and antiquities, right. right? There's the dungeons and the trials. And you can, of course, always revisit lands that you've been to before. We've got Skyrim, Morrowind. Yeah, and they're different times. You know, and we're a almost time. a thousand yeah. years in the past. Come in by yourself, come in with friends, but don't worry that you're ever not gonna have something to do because there are adventures Every, everywhere you go. <laughs> we had an awesome trailer during the showcase. Necrom, Hermaeus Mora. Yeah. What's it all about, Rich? Hermaeus Mora is this Daedric god of knowledge. Mm -hmm. He's not good, he's not evil. Um, he is just focused on cataloging the world and, and collecting everything he possibly can to study. Right. And what you kind of see in the trailer is Mora kind of always on guard, always looking over and watching what's kind of going on. And you get to see some nostalgia in there as well from the Dragonborn DLC in Skyrim mm -hmm. with the yellow green skies. The vast inky sea, the yeah. stacks of books. I'll still never forget the first time you showed us the initial concepts for everything made out of books. I remember looking at that going, oh my God, how are we gonna do how this? Gonna like, do how that? is this gonna run? <laughs> and, and... We always try to honor the past, right? Because when we go back to areas that people who play Elder Scrolls games have played, they know these lands. We want them to feel like they're coming home, right? But we have the chance to, to add a little into the mix. The art team was able to really play with kind of cool, unique monsters. Yeah, we were given some great places to go for new monsters in the zone. We were looking at making a creature that would kind of freeze you in terror mm -hmm. as soon as you saw it. And a creature that has a deeper connection to the overall story yes. of the zone. We've also got the Tavani Peninsula, kind of the, the Morrowind vibe. It's always fun to go back to this part of Tamriel because it's it's one of the most imaginative mm -hmm. and sort of like visually expressive things that, that has ever been created for an Elder Scrolls world. And then of course, Necrom City itself. This ancient city that, you know, is rumored to have been built, you know, even before the tribunal was even established. Right. Um, being able to play with that and, and look at that architecture and this ancient city of the dead. And, you guys gave us a new class to do. The Arcanist draws their powers from Hameas Mora. We really challenged ourselves and the team to make something that didn't feel like anything else that we have built. Everything we've been talking about sounds amazing, but when do we actually get to play it? Necrom launches on Xbox June 20th, and we can't wait for everybody to get in there and see this amazing content that we've created. Thanks everyone for uh, watching us during the showcase and watching us today. Uh, lots of exciting stuff coming for ESO in the future. We'll see you in Tamarind.